Here we are guys, day one, merch sales already failing because of Brandon. <laughs> Was supposed to bring a shirt for a guy that's coming by here today, didn't bring the shirt. Brandon lives an hour away from here. That's not happening today. Anywho, what is happening today is this. Why do I have itchy blankets on it? Well, I don't want to scratch up this beautiful paint of this. This is a limited edition color? Uh, it's a special color. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, army, gr <laughs> army fucking Nardo gray or whatever the hell they call this. Slightly bluish weird. Yeah. Oh no, what's going on, dude? Anywho, guess what we're doing? Uh, maybe he doesn't know how to drive, like a lot of BRZ people, maybe he does, and it's just on mileage, I don't know. Oh, he told me, uh, so the shop that he was going to before, uh, drove his car and told him he needed a clutch, so we'll find out. Oh, it's always great when the customer or someone else that isn't us diags it, um, not gonna name any names, but... We have done uh, a couple clutches that were customer diags that turned out just to be master cylinders. But when they show up with a clutch kit and they say, I want this clutch installed, I'm gonna go, okay. <laughs> Haven't even started yet, I already burned myself. So if you have one of these and you wanna do the clutch on it yourself, um, I will say they're really easy. Okay, so if this is your first time doing a clutch, congrats, you picked a good one. This one's pretty easy. First things first, all this stuff that's up on top here that's connected to the transmission, just, just loosen it, get it out of the way. So the slave cylinder, there's a ground wire, there's a harness, a couple other little doodads, uh, like these connectors and stuff like that. Um, just gonna go ahead and get all those taken off and out of the way. Um, and then we're just gonna crack loose some of the bell housing bolts that we can get to from the top and then we're going to work our way underneath the car. There's these beautiful hoses right here that are perfect for uh, setting the slave cylinder on top of so it's out of the way. And don't forget to bag your hardware. Put this in a bag. Label it. You already know that we're using those Harbor Freight tools today. No need to ask. See, for me, the big thing is when I buy a ratchet, I don't want to feel bad also using it as a hammer. So this was like $12 and it has a lifetime warranty. I hear you over there. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it's, it is peace of mind just being able to use anything like an impact as a hammer. Yeah, I've used an impact gun as a hammer before. You know why? Because it was from Harbor Freight, and I don't care. It makes the tool more versatile. There's one thing I always forget until I see the power wire on the starter. Disconnect the battery. Don't forget to do that. Otherwise... There's gonna be sparks everywhere and shit melting, and your car might light on fire. So what I prefer to do with these starter wires because, uh, oh hey, didn't see you guys there. <laughs> <laughs> show them, show them, show them right here, show them. So what I prefer to do with these starter wires because um, they face back and they're kind of annoying to get to is I just like unbolt the starter and then flip it around and then I just pop the impact gun on that and zip it right off. It's just a little bit easier, I think. Maybe you think differently and that's okay because there's different people in the world and we accept all of them. Either way it works and then exhaust comes off. Um, the shifter is a little weird. Could you remove the transmission while leaving the exhaust on? Maybe. But sometimes it's less work to do more work. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is uh, zip off 
these bolts, right? Holding up the drive shaft. We'll go ahead and unbolt the, uh, the drive shaft here. Uh, well, honestly it might be easier to just unbolt it off the diff and just take the whole thing out so that we don't got this piece just dangling under the car. So we'll probably just do that because it's the same amount of work. And then we'll pop off a couple of these uh, bell housing bolts. I always like to leave two in on opposing sides. So I'll probably leave like this one up here and like this one down here in while I get everything else off. And then we just gotta zip this mount loose. We'll put the brace up under here. Uh, we gotta, oh, we gotta get the shifter. No, oh, can't forget to get the shifter. And uh, I think there's one wire we gotta disconnect up top too. It's gotta come off. And then it's ready to come out. There's a spark. There's not a bowl. It's clear it's gonna be. Oh my god. That does not sound good at all. <laughs> So I would definitely say that this needed to be replaced. Look at how bad those hot spots are. You can feel the difference. Taste the difference. This has little micro cracks in it everywhere. It's hard to see because there's... Ugh. <laughs> Why would you do this? Oh, there's some good ones. Yeah. Right here? Yeah. I don't know if you can get those. And then, yeah, this is all the way down to the rivets on the back side. You can see a little mix there. There's cracks in the disc and the friction material. It's all glazed over, so. That's probably why I was slipping. So whoever told him he needed a clutch was correct. Wow. Look at that. Customer diagged it correct. No. Other shop customer went to diagged it correct. All right, we got the new, uh, the new rear main seal in. Um, make sure that when you take all this stuff off back here, that you clean it up good because it's got one of those little wheel majigs back behind the flywheel and you don't want that all covered in, in stuff. So clean that up. I got the new rear main seal in there. Always do the rear main when you do a clutch, guys. Just do it. There's no reason not to. You're already here. It takes like another 15 minutes and uh, it stops the headache if it ever starts leaking. So these, uh, I just went ahead and put some blue Loctite on. I'm gonna torque these to 62, and then the pressure plate torques down to 12, and we're gonna go in a zigzag pattern, tightening these and on the clutch. Stick around until the end to find out if we did this whole clutch job for absolutely no reason. All right, so the last thing I gotta do before we slap this bad boy back together is uh, put the new throw out bearing on and re-grease all this stuff. So normally when we do these, I actually use two different types of grease. So on the pivot ball and the little contacts for the spring and stuff on these, I normally use like a red and tacky or something that really stays put. Um, and then on the actual input shaft itself and the bearing, I use that like clutch grease stuff that comes in the little pack, the purple stuff. Um, I just find that for this, right, the, like the release fork and stuff, um, that type of grease actually works a little bit better, man. Fuck you. All 
All right, we got this all back together. We got the uh, Exeti clutch grease on this guy right here and on the actual uh, snout of the transmission here. And then we got the uh, red grease everywhere else on the fork, right? And uh, this is a terrible design. You're a terrible design. That holds on the, um, the little release bearing here, these spring thingies. Oh, yeah, I hate those things. Um, but, you know, pro tip, if you, if you kind of pull back on these and twist it, it'll come off without bending the spring. But if you do bend them, you just got to squeeze them back together, and then you can pivot it on. And um, But, yeah, everything works well. And uh, if you have a BRZ and your input shaft is uh, loose, don't worry. Uh, it's probably not bad. Uh, your car was just really badly made. Yeah, they have a lot of loose tolerances. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. Oh, and if you want a good way to put this grease on here evenly, you can put a little smear of it, and then you can take the old clutch disc, and you can slide it on and off a couple times, or you can use a toothbrush to, like... And I did neither of those. It's not like this is going fast. Yeah, but I'm trying to be ready with these bolts. Let's see how bad I f*** this up. No, no noises there. Goes forward and backwards. Leave a comment below if I should run this motherfucker over. Is there anything behind me? Uh, I don't think so. Let's go take this thing on a test drive. No. I'm taking them along with me on a test drive. Oh God, you're gonna crash together. Yeah. We're gonna crash together, guys. Well guys, I'd say that about wraps it up for this one. I'd say uh, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching the videos. Uh, hope you guys liked this one. This was a fun little clutch job. Hope you guys, uh, you know, if you're doing a clutch job on your BRZ or FRS or whatever, hope that went smooth too and your input shaft is uh, not as sloppy as the one in this car, but hey, you know, Catch you in the next one. Peace.